My name is Philippe Graton. I'm a photographer and scenarist, and I'm French, living in Brussels, Belgium. I am completely self-taught. I started photography very young, around 12, writing too. I had my first articles published in magazines when I was 16, and then I started as a photojournalist. I used photography, photo reports, and writing comic strips. The two together teach me how to tell stories with images. The Wednesday Shot is posting once a week a photograph and a short story. With the, the, the Wednesday Shot, it's like if I made a promise to uh, the, the followers, the subscribers. So I have to publish a photograph and its short story every Wednesday, even if I don't feel like or even if I have no idea. So it's a very good constraint, especially for a photographer and for a writer, because it obliges me to find an idea, to find a good photograph and to write a good short story every week, whether I feel like it or not. And I think it's like many other activities. Uh, it's about work and training. And this training is very good for me. It's a good constraint because having to write good things, even if you don't think you can or not this day, well, you have to. So it's kind of a discipline. I started photographing before I got my first camera. I remember as a child that I was challenging myself in seeing things and say, what you see now, this image, you will never forget. And I was concentrating and looking closely at what I was seeing. I was taking picture without camera. It w I was not in front of uh, spectacular things. I could be uh, in a tramway and looking at a crossroad and say, no, this image, you will remember all your life. And it worked. Now everybody photographed with his phone, but at that time, you, if you were able to uh, master a little bit of camera and to have a camera with you, uh, so you were the photographer. And so you could be part of things you would not be part of otherwise. So it was a way to find myself in groups or in situations in which I was not invited at the beginning, but because I was a photographer, I've been invited to it. And very soon at school, around 15 or 16, I used it intensive, intensively um, with girls. I was so uh, fascinated and maybe anxious about girls and things. And I, I think um, it was a way of make you noticed, make you a little bit interesting. And, and when you had the opportunity to take photograph of a girl, you was paying attention to her and showing sometimes if the photographs are not too bad. She, she would be very pleased with it. Brussels, 1982. In the back room of his gym on Chausée d'Ixelles, Jean-Claude isn't yet known as Van Damme. For the moment, his parrot is his sole public. At 22 years of age and weighing in at 99 kilos, he had just weighed himself that very day for the next day's bodybuilding competition, which he'll win. He's dreaming of America, movies, fame, and marrying Gladys Portuguese, a top model whom he had seen in magazines. As he doesn't know that his dreams are impossible, he will do just that, make them all come true, including marrying Gladys twice. 